Hi, I'm Tom Siller, Global Product Manager for Portable Instruments with The Hawk Company, here today with another installment of our PPA instructional video series. Today we're going to talk about operator IDs, site IDs, and routes. Now you might be thinking, I already use operator IDs and site IDs with my instruments today. However, now we've added route functionality. And what you will find is that adding and using a route is going to streamline the way that you test water in the field. Let's get started. Start by turning your instrument on and connecting the USB cable provided to you with the instrument to the side of the instrument and plugging the USB cord into your computer. Make sure that you have an internet connection. All right, once you plug the instrument into the computer, the first folder that will pop up is this one. Click on Open Folder to View Files. We are going to start by selecting the tools.htm option. This will open a Hawk window app. You want to choose the webconfigcache.zip option here at the bottom of the folder. Double clicking on that, we will now be able to select open. This will give us the opportunity to now edit the operators section, notes, site IDs, and ultimately add a route. Let's start by adding a couple operators. Since this is the first time we've done this, we have no operators currently stored. We can begin by adding three. I've now added three operator IDs that will allow me the quality control in knowing which operator took which measurements on the instrument. Let's next add a couple sites. Same format, just add as many site IDs as you would like. There is no limit to the amount of site IDs. You can see I've added four site IDs now. But say I want to pull those into a route. A lot of our customers run the same site IDs in a specific route on a weekly or daily basis. The route function will make the site ID usage and ultimately the data transfer much easier. So when we select route, we first need to start by naming a route. We'll name this route Monday. Once I've entered Monday, I'll now need to highlight it so that I can edit it. Here are all the site IDs that I've already entered. You can see I have four site IDs, all of which I want to add to my Monday route. Since I want to select all four, I can hold the control button and select all four and then click the add button. This will pull the sites directly into my route. The problem is I don't have them in the order that I want. All I have to do is simply highlight the, route, uh, the site ID that I want to move and just select the down button. I now have them in the proper order. The last step, once I've entered all of my operator IDs, site IDs, and created my routes, is to save all of your additions to the instrument itself. Click the Save button at the bottom. This will now pull up a bar at the bottom of your browser and you will want to show that in your folder. Pull open the Hawk Portable Parallel Analysis folder from your computer. Select the webconfig cache.zip that you just saved and add that to your instrument. It will likely tell you that you already have a file with the same name in this location that's okay, you're just replacing the one that came stored on your instrument. Select the copy and replace option and that's it. Now all you have to do is close your window and safely eject the Hawk PPA instrument from your computer. At this point, you're now ready to use your operator IDs, site IDs, and the route functionality. Now that you have programmed your operator ID, site ID, and routes from the computer into the instrument, you need to turn them on. 
Start by selecting the menu button, which is in the lower left side of the keypad. Scroll down to the operator ID, select operator ID, and turn the mode to on. If you recall, Tom was the first operator ID that we entered. So Tom is going to show up here on the bottom of the instrument. If you want to select a different operator ID, simply scroll to the right. If you recall, Patrick and Alex were the other two. There they are. We now need to turn on the routes that we created. So scroll down and select Site ID. First option is Mode. We're going to turn the route on. If you recall, the first stop on our route is Adams Avenue. So once I insert a chem key or connect a probe, Adams should show up accordingly. And as you can see, I have inserted a nitrite chem key and Adams Avenue is our selected site ID. You will see in the lower left corner here an icon that is noting that the route functionality is on and then Adams Avenue is the particular site within that route. If, for instance, you had to do your route out of order for whatever reason, that's okay. You can skip a site or scroll through the sites within your route by using the arrow keys. If you recall, we have Broadway Boulevard, Charles Circle, and David Drive. So you can feel free to jump around and run tests within your route. Once your tests are complete, and you download the data to your computer at the end of the day, all of your results will be displayed accordingly as your route, which was selected as Monday, and you'll have your results under Adams Avenue, Broadway Boulevard, and so on. So I hope that you've seen that the added routes functionality truly does help streamline water quality testing.